of the kind of damage that's uh, been inflicted around uh, KZN. Uh, let's cross now to my colleague Minoshni Pillay, who is flying over the Durban area. Minoshni, over to you.
Soleil uh, flying over Durban. Okay, so uh, we continue with uh, Minoshni. Thank you very much, Minoshni. You know, it's so unfortunate that this should happen just before the Easter weekend. We know that uh, Durban is quite um, an attraction for people wanting to have a, a brief holiday there. Uh, are you anticipating that there are going to be cancellations and the like, given that people may be concerned? Pardon me for interjecting there. Let me ask the question. Just in terms of the area being declared a disaster area, uh, that is KZN, obviously there are financial implications. Uh, like you say, the damage assessment continues. But what does it mean? When are funds going to be applied to begin to repair areas that have been devastated? in 
up in the air, Minoshni, but when you were down on the ground, what's the feeling among people who've been adversely affected by this? Are they completely dejected or is there some hope that indeed they're going to get the assistance that they need? for your report. Okay, do continue, Minoshni. Sorry to have interjected. If you look, if you look at the visuals you're about to see now, the mudslides down that bank, houses, balconies that have just collapsed into nothing. At the moment, you can see there are no efforts to secure those properties. that was raised by uh, the gift of the giver's um, head was that part of the problem is that after a disaster like this, people will go back to the very same low-lying areas and rebuild because that's all they know, only to be affected a few years later. Is this something that you think that the um, municipality is going to have to address or is addressing? Because ultimately, it's, it's a wasted effort to build in an area that's going to be awashed in a few years' time again. Well, the, question, the answer to that is, I'm going to answer you with a question. Where do these communities then go if not back to those low-lying areas? People that live amongst low-lying bridges and 
All right, uh, Minoshni Pele there giving us uh, an overview of what's been taking place in Durban following uh, those floods. And uh, we will get back to her later.